Welcome back to part four of my Zarina Katarin Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We're attacking the Bear Sonling, the Norsken Raiders that have marched on Volksgrad. We're selling on out with the Garrison, plus the army that we gained from our Confederation with the Brotherhood of the Bear last episode. However, we're not going to fight it because we're only going to lose a couple of units, uh, Cossars and the Cossars with Spears, and I think a unit of Cossars, yep. From our reinforcements seeing as we're currently in negative income with that new one we've just picked up we're likely going to have to disband some of these guys anyway so it's not the biggest issue in the world plus we do have the battle for prague with catherine herself and i'm sure we'll be fighting these norskins in the future a fair amount anyway so let's order results for that gain five devotion go for more devotion in fact probably gonna have to disband these guys as i said but we'll see we won't disband them yet we'll wait until after the battle for prague see how much money that gives us uh, to our income, but as you can see, we're minus 1,050 right now. Um, that was their main force. I know they've got another like half stack somewhere else. Let's just go for more devotion right now. We know no fear. That's going to knock them back a little bit. No. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, I can't hunt them down any further. Gain some more treasury. More gold to our treasury, rather. I Defeat uh, an army of chaos in battle power. and the razor standard. Lovely. We'll equip that with uh, Catherine's force. Uh, devotion is still low. Yeah, we've got these guys that have come on in. Chaos incursion over at Kislev. Uh, Voltsgrad will come and spend some stuff there in a minute. Let's just pop in some points here. Probably best to go through that blue line or possibly the red line for buffing. Right, resilience. That's quite nice. Passive ability. Duration. Hit points less than 50%. Uh, than base. That's when it uh, gets enabled. I think we'll probably... What's the corruption like up here? Is starting to spread? Not really. What's it up around here? Yeah. Fair bit of chaos in these other regions. So if we do end up keeping you, I think we'll have points pop into corruption reduction. But we won't do any more with you until after the battle for Prague, which we're going to dive into right now. And we will obviously fight this one. Uh, Pyrrhic victory. If we were to order resolve it, we'd lose our Ice Guard, Rage of Tsarina, and Winter's Fury. So we obviously don't want to do that. A quick little look at the terrain. Oh, we don't have the banner. Let me go equip that as well if I can. Okay, so it's set back into the mountainside. Let's just continue the siege. We've got two lots of towers. Let's just see if we can pop that Razor Standard on. And Ciliaries. Yeah, we can pop that in there. We're good. Anything else? No rule set. And don't have any armor. Ah, if we get the crystal cloak. Ah, this is a set. Ah, set bonus. Nice. Allegiance points gain plus 25% for alliances with Kislev and control plus model provinces. Nice. We'll have some quest set bonuses. I wonder if there's other sets for other items as well. Um, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you're wounded right now. So it's just right Rasputin. Um, we could take some... We could take your Shrieking Blade. The motherland fights as one. Got the egg. Um, Potion of Strength. Um, No, we'll keep it on her because she's probably more powerful than Rasputin. How many turns left actually until... Victory! By blade and Back in three frost. turns. Oh, there's some other characters that are wounded. Just lords, I think. Yep. Lords of the brother from the Brotherhood of the Bear. We'll be back in three turns. Good, good, good. Right. Prague. In we go. They've taken a little bit of attrition. Razor standard. Armor piercing weapon damage. I think we'll go for... Yeah, pop it on guns and maces. And we've got the strider ability on my, uh, my cavalry there. Let's do it. Here we go. As always, thanks for all your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions are all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. Once of you were saying, would it not have been better to just march on Prague rather than turning back for those other forces that were uh, down towards Kislev last episode? Possibly, but I was also concerned about uh, Throt, the Skaven. So I thought it was better to pull back and potentially deal with those guys. I know it means we fought more Kislev forces, which means we lose supporters. But... Um, yeah, I, I think it was better to just shore up our our 
kind of home territories as such before we push further north. Uh, one of you as well saying, would it not be better just to peace out with these guys because they were willing to accept peace and then look to confederate with them at some point? I think the time it would take to confederate, we'd lose, you know, we could easily gain the supporters back that we would uh, lose by just fighting them. Well, obviously, from this battle, we're going to gain um, five supporters. Okay, it's only going to be three when Your they take out the, um, the minus two fighting out the Kislev factions, but still have a look here let's just turn off the ui looks nice pretty decent map can't get up to that but that's all just scenery stuff in the background there this large bit down here it's the main capture point there the victory location so if you can get to that and capture it they'll start uh we'll start generating vi uh victory tickets is it yep good 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 so i want to focus getting up i just love the elevation you've got here it's great um right well there's that section of wall there that's fairly approachable so that's probably where we're going to want to send a fair chunk of our our towers although we're also going to want to focus on the gates as well or at least one of the gates they've got a decent defense so probably don't want to spread our forces around too much we just want to focus on one one side i'd have thought um there's no trees for us to hide in can't see what the range of the towers is currently like can't see which of them are active oh there's another gate over there interesting two towers there and slightly more along that side there's only four here or is there a tower no okay let's let's focus on this side because we can actually go for those two gates maces to go right in front although We'll have the arch that in front to absorb hits. That's going to be the plan there. Hostiles all the way along if we can. Harass the enemy on the walls. Ice guard will have you here. And let's have you two towers. Let's have you going on that spot there, actually. That looks like a good place. Plus these guys. Um, yeah, it is open there. I don't know if that's going to... Or too many of them. Let's have you there. Let's move you along a little bit. I don't know how close we kind of dock with them. Ogres should be decent at bringing down the gate. So we'll send them straight in on that one there. For the people. And just the cavalry. Keep them back here. We can get Catherine forward early to pop a Heart of Winter. That should go well for us. Let's just group towers together. Select you guys. Start battle. In we go. Go, go, go. Yep, advisor, we know. Push forward. Go for the gate. Go for gate. Ooh, that's some big damage. Yeah, what are the range on these towers? Okay, I feel like they're even shorter than they were in Warhammer 2. Maybe they're roughly the same. We definitely want to pop that at the right moment. Cossars should be firing now. Taking hits. They're the ones that we want. Taking hits. Do a big old heart of winter. Not really. They haven't deployed up by the gate. Which is kind of frustrating. Can I pop this up on the wall to zap them? Again, probably want to just hit them. Yeah, we can do that one there. Still hits down below, but it hits them up on top. Ice guard go forward down that gate. We're coming in off here with the Armoured Corsars. Good, good, good. Get you guys targeting. Dispute him. Careful. Yeah, you've been zapped by the towers. 
Okay at the moment. The ice card fall. We don't actually have a lot of support for Katarina over here. Bring that cavalry on in. How are we doing at this gate? Gates down. Not hang about. If anything, actually, Sputum should be over here to buff up these guys. Get him in and up on the walls. Get you guys to harass this lot. How's that gate looking? Nearly down any second. In we go. Get the ice guard close. Speed Tim, you are really being nuked by towers, but just get you along here, then we can buff those guys up on top with your various buffs and bonuses there. Keep them busy. Snow pull back. Fitness of winter. That just activates on her, does it? Okay, I thought that might activate on somebody else, but no. Interesting. Buff them all up there. Up you go. Get you away from those towers. Cavalry. Let's bring you guys in. And they do have spears, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ice guard, come on in. God, trying to keep up with all this is tough. Right, Catherine, over here. A heart of winter, please. Right there. I'm hoping we'll annihilate them all and really shred them. Ice guard, yeah, we're starting to make some progress. It's good. They've got most of their troops down here anyway, so once we break this lower tier, we should be fine. Go, go, go. Get them all down. Oh, that's huge damage. Huge damage. Oh, that's huge and disgusting. I love it. Yep, yep, yep. And Death Frost on their Lord, please. Amazing. Yeah, we've got this comfortably. Yeah, they've got towers. We can't really do a huge amount of that. We just got to make sure we don't lose whole units here. It's going to be the, the key thing. Snow, you're back on in. Hit these guys. I think we're going to get a break soon. Just fighting down here. Broken these guys. Send the cavalry up to attack that barricade so we can push on through and down to these guys, but I think Prague is soon going to be ours. Go up and capture that zone for us. That was huge damage from it. I love it. Take them out on the barricade up there. Go, go, go. These guys kept some of them distracted and busy up here, which is good. Power them all up, Tim. Rasputin. Tim. Victory. How many kills did she get? 264. That was beautiful. Lovely stuff. Right. End the battle. Pyrrhic victory. Still the same. We didn't lose any units completely. And no, should we not the ice guard, which actually didn't do that much damage at all. We kind of didn't have them in the right place. Um, probably should have sent them maybe to support the armored Cossars, but then they probably would have put more troops over there. That was great. Huge amount of damage. 
Yeah, Heart of Winter takes a while to build up. I think I think it's because it's, it's a multi-tiered spell, if I'm not mistaken. I think the damage actually only comes right at the end, or the massive damage when he kicks in right at the very end. Beautiful. I'd love to see be able to see further breakdowns sometimes of battles um, to see just how much a specific spell did. Right, so we lost two supporters. We gained 2,403 to our treasury and experienced 2,840. But we will also gain then five supporters once we take this, once we occupy. Which is what we're going to do right now. Expands. The White Cloak of Ulrich. Oh, nice. Sweet. And an Obsidian Lodestone. Lovely stuff. Province secured, Cursed City, capture many provinces. Nice. Obsidian Lodestone. Yeah, that's what we got that from. Brought some clan are now destroyed. Good. So we will. Uh, so not got us any more income next turn. I guess it's just these guys. It might need to recalculate by going to a settlement. Um, they're taking attrition. Did you have another force up there? We've got quite a lot of money. I think for the moment, I'm just going to force March in here. And then we'll see with everything that we build if um we can afford to keep that army just for another turn or two just to help defend or whether we need to get rid of it right now catherine though let's have another look at heart of winter so it's damage per second oh yeah so it massively increases towards the end and speed debuff as well um we've got a point going to earth i think i'm actually going to go into heart of winter to reduce the cost of it because we keep doing we keep using that just checking that we're not unlocking another mount some of you were saying popping her on the mount would still be wise just because even though i love her ice animations and stuff like that it does make her a lot stronger um and it means i can probably get her stuck into combat a little bit as well kind of a, a warrior witch so yeah i might i might will probably at least pop a point in it try it out on the bear see how things go uh Rasputin, battle him uh what's if you're saying why don't you just go for the replenishment but that plus 40 is huge um in battle the hit points aren't going to do a huge amount for us except for single entities it's not that useful uh, upgrading again just reduces the cooldown doesn't it i'm gonna go for uh, more replenishment on our troops right now he's embedded in that army that'd be more helpful right so it's taking out one of our enemies we're down to three legion of chaos which off over here Tim the traitor. Um, Clan Molder. And the best Solon. Who are over here. So they're probably the ones we'll be focusing on a fair bit more in the next few turns. Obviously, it's given up here in the mountains. But yeah, we won't be looking to do anything against other Kislev factions. What? Now that we're not at war with any of them. Celestial ancestors. Storm These are the ones that we're going to want to see if we can get friendlier with, with a defensive alliance, so perhaps. The snow bringer. Yes. Yeah, they're kind of close to that. Um, I wonder if we can... Because they're at war with Clan Mold. So if we focus on Clan Molder next, bring down Throt, they'd like us a bit from that. Or see if we can uh, get them weakened by Throt. Um, balance offer is 2,345 to get military access with them. We don't need it, but more treaties makes them like us a bit more. We'll see how much money we've got left over. So Prague... Have you, what have you got as your landmarks here? You've got the Bleakness. One and two. Okay, that's for Griffin Legion. Uh, unlocks the recruitment of them. Sweet. Um, Citadel of Prague. Global recruitment capacity and recruitment duration reduction. Decent little garrison in there as well. Leadership buffs and bonuses. And the, the Magnus Gardens. Uh, unlocks recruitment for Patriarchs and increases their capacity corruption in adjacent provinces minus one hero and lord recruit rank plus two yeah that's that's nice they're good they've got the marble in there as well what have we currently got we've got the uh orthodoxy dublet over here uh right now worth keeping just because of that passive uh support again and devotion gain we don't want to rid of that plus it's cost it costs devotion to build um, Kossar's Spit. I think I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need more of them just yet. We'll go back to Kislev if we need to recruit. We'll need to replenish up for a couple of turns. Back down to Kislev. We might even come back down here to deal with them. We can upgrade this, which will let us get Streltsy, which I will then look to replace my Kossars with. Um, so let's get that in there. That one. We can go for another landmark, can't we? 
That cost devotion. I forgot that there. They all cost devotion, these. Upkeep for elemental bear and war bears. That's not going to be super useful right now. We've already got furs. The extra growth is good, though. But devotion generation and control incoverable buildings in the province. That is good. Uh, we've already got a chaos uprising right now. So let's make it worse. Grand Citadel. Map that right in there. There we go. Um, so, yeah, money-wise, can't really afford to keep this one um, right now, unfortunately. You guys, we're going to want to go for the farm, I'd have thought. Likewise, we don't. Mm, they're all tier three, aren't they? We don't want the military building over here just yet. Catherine's probably going to have to deal with them. Let's get rid of that. That's control and growth. Not really what I would have picked, but... We'll leave it for the moment. Right Boltzglads. We will go for farms here as well. But yeah, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to go. I mean, even if I merged you all up. Not really. I think it's better that we say goodbye to them for the time being. There we go. Getting 638 income. Research. So we went for the ice core. Yeah, we wanted to. Can't recruit anyone just yet. So next turn, hopefully, if we don't spend any more money. Um, uh, minus five percent to recruitment. Cash replenishment rates. Yeah, get the extra percent now. Early on. We went for the extra movement range. Yeah, get that in there. I think. A great orthodoxy provides. And what could we pop in here? It's gonna. Mm, probably need to be control. What have you guys got set? You're set for income from all buildings right now. Um, you probably need to be switched on to control. Also slow them down moving a little bit. You guys are on control and campaign movement range for all these guys. Yep, yep, yep. Um, every two provinces you own, so we need to get another one. Oh, you guys are saying we could swap this guy out if we recruited him. Then it would free someone else up, I assume, to be an Ataman there. Which is pretty cool. Don't have enough money now to treat with these guys. They are dropping. The betterment of our peoples is our shared responsibility. But once we going start going after Throp, we should be uh we should be fine. One land. End the turn. Need Elsa back so we can start getting more devotion from her activities. Okay, so they pulled back. I assume so for the moment. We're okay. If we end up losing some of these, we end up losing them. We'll probably try and fight most of them, though, when they attack us, just to slow their advance down. What we'll need to do. Um, you guys here at tier two, you could actually go for these defenses in there. That'd be all of our money right now. Um, returns. It's that corruption that we've got to try and sort out. I don't know if we'll be able to do it easily. The hell pit's going to be pretty solid, so I don't think we can do much about that just yet. Um, oh, we've got another dilemma. By tradition, once the black uh, glove has been delivered from Rengrad, an Ataman must immediately muster the tribes for war uh, is inevitable. However, his advisors suggest going against the custom on this occasion and exerting more influence uh, across the province. Be the ever traditionist uh, or ever be the traditionist, rather. Recruit rank for infantry. Or province first. Uh, put the province first. We're going to say put the province first. Never mind what Erengrad demands. Local consideration must come first. Yeah, because right now we need control. We're not going to recruit more units there. Bada bing, bada boom. That's also going to help our control there, which is good. Frog Garrison will start recovering. Um, marble, or really what we need is we need some growth here. Hello, keepers. Construction costs. Yeah, makes sense. All round, really. How are we doing on supporters? 23 to 34. That's at 50. Whichever one gets to that first uh, locks it out for the other the other one. So we want to try and beat him to each of these. Um, for what I was watching, I think it was Mordred Viking stream of Kislev the other day. And yeah, you can get, you don't both get those when you go over the threshold, it seems. Just the first one to it. So he's, yeah, 
He's gathering a fair bit there. Uh, have we just finished our invocation as well? I think we have. Um, sportsman occupying a settlement. I mean, that would get us quite a few quickly if we were to go after the Bjornling over here. We've got to keep an eye on Prague. We probably need to come back and deal with these guys because they're harassing us. So that's what we'll send Catherine right now. We'll force march her back down here to deal with that. Does leave Prague exposed, but... I mean, I guess if Skaven take it, we take it back. We pop that same Urson invocation. Happy days. Uh, control and growth. Thing is, the only corruption reduction we have is that one, right? Uh, along with the Night Patrol house. I don't think there's anything else that... Uh... Drops. Um, oh, no, the Hallowed Forest does as well, actually. That doesn't cost any. Um, that doesn't cost any devotion. So it'll get us a little bit. Okay. Income from farms. Um, so, okay. What we should do then. Pop that in. Destroy that and build the farm instead. Swap that one on over. So we won't go for the defenses just yet. It's risky, but it's what we'll try and do right now. That's all we can do right now. We knock those guys out. That should boost things up a little bit. So long as you do not question me. Hello, dwarves. You want trade, and you're willing to offer me gold? Yes. And we are going to go for non-aggression as well, Crackerjack. Beautiful. Lovely. That should help us out. Go for duty. We'll call uh, Elsa must be back next turn. Yeah, then we can start using her to gain devotion. Mistress of Ice. In we go. Take out those beastmen rebels. It's close victory. We'll lose our ogre mercenaries. Well, that's going to constantly happen with this, uh, with these guys. In we go. Another opportunity to use Heart of Winter. Let's let's look at it that way. Replenishing up nice and fast though. So we'll probably keep Elsa on the campaign map for now until we have another army. Uh, pop her in with that one. Also, when we had an ambush on this map before, we had reinforcements coming in. I thought they were enemy reinforcements. They were they were my reinforcements. Uh, you might be able to tell in videos where certain um, brain fart moments, shall we say, uh, occur <laughs> quite badly like that. Uh, you can probably tell whether or not Cubheart's been sleeping well the previous night. <laughs> we did have a good night last night, so hopefully there's no glaring mistakes like that today. <laughs> But yeah, the other night. Not so good. They're like so. Them here. You're going to come to us? Fight with bravery and honor. Do not disappoint they do. That'll be lovely because we've got a wonderful position. Hold the line nicely. Coming or they just moving forward a little? No, they are still coming to us. Good. How much do I need to overcast this now? I wish when you put the first point in, it would change to tell you how much it would be at the top one. Obviously, you can work it out eventually. There we go. It must be 25 then. Yeah. 25 overcast. We need them all stationary though. So we need them... We need them surrounding something. Hey, Recipe Team, it's probably a little bit risky for you. Plus, my Ice Guard are probably just going to shred you. I am going to go shut the gate, as it were, here. Track them down there. 
the hidden units. Here we go. They're getting absolutely melted. Go, Ice God, go. Oh, forget all those spears over there. Let's just go in there with Katarin, see if we can blob them all up. I feel like this would be a wonderful place. Get them all fighting us. Here we go. Oh no, they're running away a bit. Come on, stay together. Here we go. Right, that should do it. They're going to break before it fires, probably doing so much damage. Yeah, they've all run out of the... New! Come here and die, damn it. Yeah, just, just absolute slaughter. A few kills off that. Now it's going big time. Huge damage. It is catching them. Yeah. Good number of kills still, actually. But you guys took a fair bit of damage. That's about it. He's down. Might as well just hunt them down a little bit. Take down as many as we can. We don't want to take... Oh, yeah. We don't take the Lord out because they'll spawn a new one in at full strength. But okay. That'll do. That was nice. 36 lost. Pretty much just that unit. <laughs> Everyone else just stood real strong and firm. Which gives me, give me some hope that against a low-tier trash um, kind of Skaven army, which... Throt might be running around with still. We might get lucky. 16% um, replenishment's nice, but plus 30 devotion. We're going to take that. 66 now. I can finish them off as well. Nice. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, Connor, at next level, we can give her the wall bear, so we guess we'll try that out. Can't get his to 11. That's fine. Got the replenishment in there as well. We could drop the uh, cooldown on that. Cooldown is 67 seconds. Yeah, gone then. Finish these guys off. Lost one. But we'll take the two devotion because like, every little helps. Devotion of toughness. Nice. The Tsarina. Right, we should be able to force March back tie. into Kislev. Pale shadow of my palace. And then that potion of toughness, I think I'm going to give to... Um, well, first of all, give you that. And yeah, I'll give you that. I don't have any armors. Obsidian lodestone. I don't have anything else I could merge it or salvage with. Oh, no, we can salvage, actually, but spell resistance. That's fine. Give it to Elsa when she's back, perhaps. She's not going to be in battle, so it won't be too useful just yet. Uh, oh, before we build something, let's have a look. Oh, do we want to bring in... Oh, we don't really want to bring an ice witch in. We should just focus on income, uh, which is going to be here. Going for that right now. Um, you are going to get attacked. That's the only problem. You can upgrade your farm. I think it's likely safe that I upgrade the farm there for the moment. Just get our economy rolling. A 
face off. Horrified farmers of Prague have awoken to find that every ear of grain bears the uh, miniaturized face of a howling beast and that their cattle are now blank faceless nightmares. Vile mutation afflicts uh, the cursed city once more. Our farming to continue. His magic powers there plus two per turn. All armies chaos, undivided corruption plus two. Burn it all. Um, or find the source. Search the fields. Um, corruption reduction. All provinces that kind of would be. Not, it's only my hot ones up there though. Banner of swiftness. We've already got one. I hope we go for that corruption reduction. Burn it all. Wardenhof is gone. Elsa is back. Right, they've got an army coming over here, so we'll go deal with that. So what we'll do with we Elsa is send cross. her. Uh, actually, can we take out you? Eh, a forty-one percent chance. Risk it. Suffer winter's Dang it. bite. Send her over to help it to see what's going on over there. Uh, so we're going to be using you on the campaign map for a little bit, Elsa. So we'll start going through specialists with you. Yeah, what I probably should have done, actually, I should have gone for an ice court uh, technology that lets me train another frost maiden because we're likely to have another hero out before. None shall question me. Mistress of before us. another army right now. Right. Head on up here. Chaos. That's where we'll go. So that corruption reduction. We should have some coming in over here. We're not going to that just yet in case they go to attack it. So what can we do over here? Anything? Is that the only place we can build? It is. Okay, it started off. Risk it. They are one They're now improving Stores relations with me. Good. We're getting very close to military access with them. For the good of our land. Yes. So. Uh, they'll take non-aggression. Lovely. I will listen, but my time is short. Won't ask for any money. We'll just try and improve relations with them. Yes. Yes. One rag. One rag. Um. Yeah, we'll need to get that with secure with you. Fair few we can trade with, but the just Empire. nothing yet. Uh, close to some of you guys. Friendly, still improving, so that's okay. We'll keep going. <laughs> Who calls? Let's just have a quick little look at the motherland. He's at 38. Might need to just try and get a load of coin to drop his supporters by 50. Might have to try and do that if we want to, if we want to get that first point. I would do want to try and beat him to each of these. Otherwise, it's 200 devotion. Uh, we don't have any of these active right now. Uh, but I think if I'm going to activate another one, it's going to be Urson. Because we'll claim those two regions here. So that's five. Support, uh, that, sorry, that's ten supporters from both of those. Um, I was going to do something else then. I was just thinking... Oh, yeah. What I was going to do was take a look at my missions to see which of them can I easily complete. Get more money. There's three of the current... Oh, yeah, that's that's wrong. Uh, we need to keep anything. That's not going to work. Crystal Cloak. Teleport. We can't do that battle just yet. It's too strong. Second front. Raise an additional army. Through a train character through the ice court. Okay. Descent. Let's... Yeah, let's start saving up our money. We know we can just recruit one though when we're when we're close, so we won't recruit one just yet. Let's see if we can have a good old battle against them. That's going to be our focus then for now, taking out the best onling. I think they said they've got three regions. And damn, they're coming in to attack us here, which means I've wasted that money building up that farm. They do have Zargard though. Uh, they've got reinforcements coming on in. We'll fight it to try and weaken them so that Katarine can just plow on forward. 
Uh, and we'll open fighting this battle at the start of the next turn. So until then, I hope you guys... Next turn, next episode. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Tech Branch of the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.